The Philippines, an archipelago in Southeast Asia consisting of over 7,000 islands, is a paradise of diverse cultures, stunning landscapes, and rich history. Whether you are an adventure seeker, a history buff, or someone looking for a relaxing getaway, the Philippines offers something for everyone. Here is a comprehensive guide to the top 15 things to do in the Philippines and three things you should definitely avoid during your visit. Island hopping in Palawan. Palawan, often referred to as the last frontier of the Philippines, is renowned for its breathtaking islands and crystal clear waters. Island hopping in Palawan, particularly in El Nido and Coron, is an experience of a lifetime. You can explore hidden lagoons, swim in pristine waters, and relax on white sandy beaches. Highlights include the Big Lagoon, Small Lagoon, and Secret Lagoon in El Nido, as well as Kayangan Lake and Twin Lagoon in Koran. Visiting the Chocolate Hills in Bohol. Bohol's Chocolate Hills are a geological wonder consisting of around 1 bond 268 to 1 1076 hills spread over an area of more than 50 square kilometers. During the dry season, the grass covering these hills turns brown, resembling chocolate mounds, hence the name. Visitors can enjoy panoramic views from the Chocolate Hills Complex or the Sagbayan Peak. Additionally, Bohol is home to the Philippine Tarsier, one of the world's smallest primates, which can be seen at the Tarsier Sanctuary in Corella. Exploring the Rice Terraces of Banawe The Banawe Rice Terraces, often called the Eighth Wonder of the World, are ancient terraces carved into the mountains of Ifugao over 2,000 years ago. These terraces are a testament to the ingenuity and hard work of the Ifugao people. The best way to experience the terraces is by trekking through the villages of Batad and Bangan, where you can witness the traditional way of life and enjoy the stunning landscape. Diving in Tabataha Reefs Natural Park For diving enthusiasts, the Tabataha Reefs Natural Park is a must-visit destination. This remote and pristine marine sanctuary, located in the middle of the Sulu Sea, is accessible only by live-aboard boats, which adds to its exclusivity and allure. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993, Tabataha Reefs Natural Park spans nearly 100,000 hectares and comprises two large atolls, the North Atoll and the South Atoll and the smaller Jesse Beasley Reef. The park features extensive coral reefs that boast over 600 species of fish and 360 species of coral, many of which are endemic to the area. The underwater landscape is adorned with colorful coral gardens, dramatic drop-offs, and deep walls teeming with life. Divers can encounter a variety of marine animals, including manta rays, sea turtles, and a multitude of pelagic species. The abundance of large marine life, such as whale sharks, hammerhead sharks, and tiger sharks, adds to the thrill of diving in Tabataha. One of the park's most famous dive sites is the Amos Rock, known for its sheer walls covered in soft corals and large Gorgonian sea fans. This site often attracts reef sharks and large pelagics. The washing machine, another popular dive site, is named for its strong currents that provide a dynamic and exhilarating diving experience. Relaxing on Boracay Island. Boracay Island is famous for its powdery white sand beaches, vibrant nightlife, and a wide range of water activities. White Beach, stretching over four kilometers, is the island's most popular spot, perfect for sunbathing, swimming, and enjoying the sunset. For adventure seekers, there are activities like kiteboarding, parasailing, and scuba diving. Puka Beach and Bulabog Beach offer more serene and less crowded alternatives for relaxation. Visiting the historical Intramuros in Manila. Intramuros, the walled city, is the historic center and oldest district of Manila. Built by the Spanish in the late 16th century, it served as the political and military base of Spanish colonization. The walls, which stretch for over four kilometers, once protected the city from invasions and still stand today as a testament to the rich history and heritage of the Philippines. Fort Santiago is one of the most significant landmarks in Intramuros. This fortress, built in 1571, was a key defense bastion against foreign invaders and a symbol of Spanish power in the Philippines. The fort's walls and dungeons witnessed many historical events, including the imprisonment of Dr. Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines before his execution in 1896. San Agustin Church, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the oldest stone church in the Philippines dating back to 1607. This Baroque-style church has survived numerous earthquakes, fires, and wars, including the Battle of Manila in 1945, which left much of Intramuros in ruins. 
The Manila Cathedral, officially known as the Minor Basilica and Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, is another architectural gem in Intramuros. The cathedral has been rebuilt several times due to natural disasters and wars, with the current structure completed in 1958. Its grand facade, impressive dome, and stunning stained glass windows make it a must-visit landmark. Casa Manila is a museum that recreates the lifestyle of the upper-class Filipinos during the Spanish colonial period. Housed in a replica of an 1850s Spanish colonial mansion, the museum is part of the Plaza San Luis complex, a cultural and commercial development in Intramuros. Located within Fort Santiago, the Rizal Shrine is a museum dedicated to the life and legacy of Dr. Jose Rizal. The museum is housed in the building where Rizal was imprisoned before his execution, and it contains a vast collection of Rizal's personal belongings, writings, and artworks. Exhibits include his letters, medical instruments, and a replica of the Mi Ultimo Adios, the poem he wrote on the eve of his execution, Swimming with Whale Sharks in Oslob Cebu. Swimming with Whale Sharks in Oslob Cebu is a popular activity that attracts tourists from around the world. These gentle giants can be seen up close, providing a thrilling yet serene experience. The best time to visit is early in the morning when the whale sharks are most active. It's important to follow guidelines to ensure the safety and conservation of these magnificent creatures. Exploring the underground river in Puerto Princesa, the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, another UNESCO World Heritage Site, is famous for its spectacular limestone karst landscape and one of the longest navigable underground rivers in the world. A boat tour through the underground river offers a unique experience of exploring stunning rock formations, vast chambers, and a diverse ecosystem. The park is also home to a variety of wildlife, including monitor lizards and monkeys. Trekking Mount Apo Mount Apo, the highest peak in the Philippines, stands majestically at 2954 meters 9 to 692 feet, above sea level and is located in the island of Mindanao. This dormant stratovolcano is not only a symbol of natural grandeur, but also a sacred site for the indigenous peoples of the region. Trekking Mount Apo is a challenging yet rewarding experience that attracts adventurers, nature lovers, and cultural enthusiasts from around the world. The Trekking Experience Trekking Mount Apo is considered one of the most exhilarating outdoor activities in the Philippines. The journey to the summit typically takes two to four days, depending on the chosen trail and the pace of the group. There are several established trails, each offering a unique trekking experience. The most popular trails include the Kitapawan Trail, the Kapatagan Trail, and the Bansalan Trail. The Kitapawan Trail is one of the most commonly used routes to the summit. Starting from Kitapawan City, this trail is known for its lush forests, clear rivers, and the iconic Lake of Venado, a pristine crater lake situated near the base of Mount Apo. The Kapatagan Trail, starting from Davao del Sur, is another popular route to Mount Apo's summit. This trail is noted for its steep ascents and rocky paths, making it more challenging than the Kitapawan Trail. Trekkers on this route will pass through sulfur vents, mossy forests, and the rocky slopes of the boulders section, which requires careful navigation. The Bansalan Trail, also starting from Davao del Sur, offers a less traveled path to the summit. This trail features dense forests, river crossings, and the scenic Marble River. The Bansalan Trail is less developed compared to the other routes, providing a more rugged and off-the-beaten-path experience. Discovering Vegan City Vegan City, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the best-preserved examples of a Spanish colonial town in Asia. Walking along its cobblestone streets, you can admire the well-preserved colonial architecture, visit museums like the Sequia Mansion and the Crisologo Museum, and take a ride on a calesa, horse-drawn carriage. The city's rich cultural heritage and historical significance make it a must-visit destination. Snorkeling in Apo Island Apo Island, located off the coast of Negros Oriental, is renowned for its marine sanctuary and vibrant coral reefs. Snorkeling in Apo Island allows you to see a variety of marine life, including sea turtles, colorful fish, and diverse coral species. The island also offers beautiful beaches and scenic hiking trails. The best time to visit is during the dry season from November to May. Visiting the Mayan Volcano Mayan Volcano, known for its perfectly symmetrical cone shape, is one of the most active volcanoes in the Philippines. Located in Albay Province, the volcano is a stunning natural attraction. You can visit the Kagsawa Ruins, which offer a picturesque view of Mayan, with the remnants of an 18th-century church in the foreground. 
For the more adventurous, climbing Mayon is possible, but it requires a permit and is best done with a guide due to the volcano's unpredictable activity. Enjoying the Waterfalls of Cebu Cebu is home to several beautiful waterfalls, each offering a unique experience and showcasing the island's natural splendor. The province, known for its stunning beaches and vibrant cities, also boasts some of the most breathtaking waterfalls in the Philippines. Kawasan Falls, located in the town of Badian, is arguably the most famous waterfall in Cebu. This multi-tiered waterfall is renowned for its mesmerizing turquoise blue waters and lush tropical surroundings. The main waterfall, with its 40-meter drop, creates a stunning natural pool at its base, perfect for a refreshing swim. For those seeking a bit of adventure and thrill, Kawasan Falls is the ultimate destination. Tumalog Falls, situated in the town of Oslob, offers a more serene and less crowded environment compared to Kawasan Falls. The waterfall features a unique curtain-like cascade that gently flows over a wide limestone cliff, creating a delicate mist that adds to its enchanting beauty. The shallow pool at the base of Tumalog Falls is ideal for wading and relaxing, making it a perfect spot for those looking to unwind and soak in the natural beauty. Dao Falls, located in the town of Samboan, is one of Cebu's hidden gems. The trek to Dao Falls is an adventure in itself, involving a scenic hike through lush greenery, bamboo bridges, and rocky trails. The waterfall, with its tall, narrow cascade, is set against a backdrop of towering cliffs and verdant foliage. Aguanid Falls, also located in Samboan, is a multi-tiered waterfall that offers a unique and interactive experience. The falls consist of several levels, each with its own distinct features and challenges. Trekking up Aguanid Falls involves climbing over rocks, wading through streams, and navigating natural rock formations. Inambakan Falls, located in the town of Janatalan, is a majestic five-tiered waterfall known for its impressive height and powerful flow. The main cascade, which drops from a height of approximately 100 feet, creates a large, inviting pool at its base. The lower levels of Inambakan Falls feature smaller cascades and pools, each offering its own charm and beauty. Exploring Siargao Island Siargao Island, known as the surfing capital of the Philippines, is famous for its powerful waves, particularly at Cloud 9. However, the island offers much more than just surfing. You can explore the Magpupunko Rock Pools, take a boat tour to Sugba Lagoon, and visit the picturesque Sohodan Cove. Siargao's laid-back vibe, friendly locals, and stunning natural beauty make it a favorite destination for travelers. Visiting the Enchanted River in Hinatuan The Enchanted River, located in Hinatuan, Surigao del Sur, is known for its crystal-clear blue waters and mystical charm. The river's deep blue color and underwater caves create a magical atmosphere. Visitors can swim in the designated area, take a boat ride to explore the river further, and enjoy the natural beauty of the surrounding landscape. Feeding time when the caretakers feed the fish is a unique spectacle to witness. Things not to do in the Philippines. Disrespecting local customs and traditions. The Philippines is a country with a rich cultural heritage and diverse traditions. It is important to show respect for local customs, practices, and beliefs. This includes dressing modestly, particularly when visiting religious sites, participating in local festivals with respect, and being mindful of social norms. Avoid making insensitive comments about the local culture, religion, or politics. Showing respect and understanding can go a long way in fostering positive interactions with locals. Ignoring environmental conservation rules. The Philippines is blessed with stunning natural beauty, but it is also fragile and needs to be protected. When visiting natural attractions, it is crucial to follow conservation rules and guidelines. This includes not littering, avoiding the use of single-use plastics, not touching or stepping on coral reefs, and respecting wildlife. Engaging in responsible tourism practices helps preserve the environment for future generations and ensures that these natural wonders remain pristine. Underestimating safety precautions. While the Philippines is generally a safe destination for tourists, it is essential to take necessary safety precautions. This includes being aware of your surroundings, especially in crowded places, avoiding isolated areas at night and safeguarding your belongings. When engaging in adventure activities like diving, trekking, or water sports, always follow safety guidelines and use reputable service providers. Additionally, it is advisable to stay informed about the local situation and heed travel advisories from your government. A trip to the Philippines is a journey through a land of breathtaking beauty, vibrant cultures, and unforgettable experiences.
From the stunning islands of Palawan and the historical sites of Intramuros, to the natural wonders of Banawe and the thrilling activities in Cebu, the Philippines offers a diverse array of attractions for every traveler. However, it is equally important to respect local customs, protect the environment, and prioritize safety to ensure a fulfilling and responsible travel experience. Whether you're lounging on the beaches of Boracay, exploring the rice terraces of Banawe, or diving in the Tubataha reefs, the Philippines promises a memorable adventure that will leave you longing to return.